So when I met the directors and they told me kind of about this horrific event that I had never heard of, I was I was blown away. And um, it was really important that if I hadn't heard about it, I realized that others hadn't heard about it either. And the importance of getting a story told, which could be entertaining, while educating people of this horrific event. How did being a part of this film change you? Changed me in a lot of ways. I mean, first it made me more aware. Um, I knew being a, a Jew about the horrific things that happened to the, the people who who were in the Holocaust, but not what happened that actually instigated the Holocaust actually starting. Um, so I got surrounded in this world of people who are so passionate about telling the story of what happened to their great great grandparents. And they're all so passionate, and they're all just trying to fight to be heard and make sure that this horrific event never happens again, not only to them, but to any culture anywhere in the world. And they're really the voice for all of that. And that, to me, is an inspirational thing. What was one of the challenging aspects of putting this film together? There are many challenging aspects. I think one of the, the more challenging things was the deadline of getting it done by this 100-year date. Um, April 24th is a historic date, and the 100-year is such a historic thing to be a part of. We really wanted to have the film ready for audiences because April 24th is a day for people to actually mourn and reflect. April 25th is a day for them to actually rejoice and say, how do we move ahead? How do we live knowing this occurred? And kind of also a day to kind of be with friends and be surrounded by people who you care about and maybe smile a little bit and find some kind of um, okayness in yourself with all of this. And so the movie, hopefully, while it will entertain and educate, it will also make people um, feel some sort of happiness as well.